Assalamu alaikum everyone welcome back to another video I hope you're having a wonderful day so in today's video we are looking at the portfolio again is that time again where we look at every single stock what how it's done you know what we're doing with it moving forward all the buys all the sales for the month of February all the dividends that I've received what I'm gonna do with this portfolio inshallah moving forward and the allocation side of things so the ISRA account all of these things as well as the rental income so we have a lot to get into inshallah in today's video as always i would really appreciate if you can like the video it takes a lot of time to put these type of videos together as well as of course joining us on the patreon account where you get access to a lot of these things you get access to the private discord where a lot of brothers are sharing really good practices you know all the things they're buying and selling they share it there i'm, I'm sharing all the buys and sells that i'm making on regular day you know on daily basis and just it cost is less than i don't know 15p per day so inshallah if you can join us that will be absolutely wonderful so what i would like to do first is talk about the portfolio so i'm going to show you all the what i've sold and then i'm talking go talk about what i bought for this month and then i'll go individual stocks and tell you exactly what i'm going to do moving forward and then i'm going to share with you all the dividends as well as of course the allocations and all of that stuff inshallah so as always it would be really wonderful if you can like the video inshallah so as you can see here the portfolio right now is 97,846 pounds and that is not the real value of it because there is 527 pounds sitting there right now that will, I should be investing in the next either today or tomorrow and I'll tell you the allocation and things like that in a second. So as you can see I've got 25 in stocks in here and that is the portfolio worth right now. So let's get started. Let's have a look at the buys and sells first. So starting what I've sold this month, I've sold 3M and I've sold Unilever. The two companies have been in the portfolio since the beginning of the portfolio, especially 3M, the situation, the reason I sold it, and I actually lost over 1,500 pounds on that one single stock. And the reason I did that was opportunity cost. What I mean by that is that this company, I've given it a year and a bit to sort out all the legal situation that was going on and hopefully go back to where it used to be, which was about, I think it was 120, 140, 100, no, 100, not 120, 140 dollars per share. Um, but it has never got to that stage. And the other thing is I was hoping that they can sort out all the legal situations and so on, but things have not improved at all. And my concern was they possibly might cut the dividends. They should be cutting that dividends because it's absolutely ridiculous. They're paying 6% basically yield right now because they want to hold on to that dividend king. They're increasing it a tiny bit, but they will soon have to pay a lot of legal fees. So for that reason, they will have to cut the dividends because the revenue side of things is not growing as fast as it was before. I think they're expecting, let me have a quick look. I think they're expecting to grow about yeah four percent six percent in terms of EPS revenue this year is declining and then the following year about three and a half percent and it just does not look great to me basically the fact that the company has not done well if you even look at for me when I bought it it was the one of the companies whose product I understood we used to buy a lot of their products and so on and then when I look at the financials, it makes no sense. So the last five years is down fifth over 50 percent. The last 10 years is down 28 percent. So the only thing that's holding on this basically that is making this company uh, better. You know, a lot of people talk about this company because of that dividend. So for that reason, I just sold it and I was out. The other one was Unilever. Unilever was basically a more or less similar situation. It has not done anything in the last five years. And when you look at the last 10 years, it's up only 24%. So it's slightly better. Again, it's another company whose product I use all the time. I went out last night, you know, got some of their products. It's basically one of the companies that I've had in the portfolio. I like their product. However, the situation with Ben and Jerry's and what was going on in Palestine and the fact that they were actually quite stubborn about dealing with that situation and basically selling ice cream in the occupied Palestine, that was very uncomfortable. I thought they would sort that situation out. There were legal situation going on between Ben and Jerry's because the company acquired Ben and Jerry's not long ago. And that has not basically worked out for that reason. I thought, you know what, let me take my money. So I think I lost about 50 pounds or whatever it was, but I got a lot of dividends from this company. So I sold that and took that money. So overall, that was over 6,800 pounds. I took that money and decided to buy these companies. 
So I added to air product and chemicals, I've added to ExxonMobil, I've added to UPS, Rio Tinto, MasterCard, automatic data processing. MasterCard is a new buy. Okay, MasterCard is a new buy. I haven't had the time to basically tell you how much in fact I will get big dividends, but you can see it normally um I add that but I left that out for this um video. So as you can see here, automatic data processing is about five shares that I've basically added to. Um, AstraZeneca, six and a half shares, almost Hershey. Hershey I haven't added much to, um, but I will be adding more, inshallah. Reckon Bank is actually bought seven more shares. Um, again, it went down a lot recently, so I've added to that again. Public storage, one and six, uh, one point six dollar um, shares. Um, so yeah, overall I spent nine thousand three hundred and fifty-four and six, almost the seven of that came from there. So two thousand money I added was two thousand, almost the five hundred pounds. And the reason I'm now adding more is because I need to maximize as an account. That was my target, and that's what something that I've said from the beginning. I will be maxing no matter what happens. I'm actually this month. I it will be a bit of a stretch, but I will inshallah do this. Okay, I made my intention, and I'm gonna do that inshallah. So overall portfolio right now, in case you can see 77 or whatever it is in here. There we go, 77, 800, and so on. Unchanged, about 13 percent up in terms of dividends taught uh, and so far. So total dividends and so far is over 3,700 dividends income basically expected about 2000 for basically moving forward portfolio right now is the yield is two percent just above two percent and the yield on cost 2.36 which makes me happy and 25 percent uh, sorry 25 stocks that i own in total and as you can see here this is one of the reasons i do like dividends i do like adding more money to the portfolio because i can see my income growing every single year so in 20 basically when i first started in 2020 um basically i only received one 163 pounds then 558 then 1162 pounds and right now 1683 and 2024 we've just started and i already on um, basically have 139 dollars um, pounds so let me quickly show you so where that money came from so as soon as beginning of the year i have been paid so in january these four companies paid me and i shared that with you guys for february there's only been three companies so air product chemicals asml and Procter and gamble are the four companies that have paid me in the month of february and march already two of the march i'm expecting a lot more i'll share that with you guys in a second so as you can see here the total here if we go back here so okay so the total for the month of february was 59 pounds the total for march is basically uh, so far is 34 pounds so inshallah we'll see what happens by the end of the month um but yeah so again i'm going to continue buying quality companies dollar cost average into these companies inshallah every single month so i can increase my income my goal if you're asking if you're new to the channel i know a lot of you have joined recently my goal for this portfolio inshallah is to continue investing every single year continue investing more money so i can actually have potentially in maybe 10 15 years down the line i can look back and say do you know what it was all worth it all these little pennies that i've been collecting right now i can actually live off this portfolio it's going to take a while but inshallah i'm willing to do that now let's have a quick look of the entire portfolio so i own 23 shares of oil product and chemicals asml so you can post the video so i'm not going to go every single company the ones that are down i want the ones that i'm going to talk about so you can pause it and have a look at but i will show you that my income from each one of these companies in a second um the ones that pay dividends so um air product and chemicals were still down so i will be buying more of astrazeneca is exactly the same hershey is exactly the same i'm still buying more of exxon um like broadcom this is absolutely ridiculous i'm up 187 percent it's 3400 and actually i sold it how many shares was it two shares i think i've sold recently and i took thousand pounds off the table there we go so the profit of thousand pounds by selling these two shares and it's still up over three thousand four hundred pounds so alhamdulillah it's done really well um, it's reporting i think this week or next week so that will be interesting to see what happens i hope it does well because um you know it's been doing absolutely amazing so far with the ai situation so let's see what happens um other companies home depot has gone too expensive i really need to add to this company it's been sitting there for a long time now it's about over a thousand pounds up into it i thought it's going to do better but it hasn't so into it is just a bit annoying right now it's a little bit overvalued 
it hasn't come down enough for me to buy more and it hasn't gone up much but it's still 14 percent up so which is fine i've neglected this etf so i will be buying more of inshallah in february jnj still holding on to it i like the company i've always liked it um so i'm gonna hold on to it i think they paid me today was it or yesterday they actually paid me there we go so i got paid today from them 27 pounds and 92 pence um lens is actually again um you know a dollar cost averaging into it definitely mastercard are buying more buying more metronic not touching merc procter and gamble again i'm not touching it for a while public storage I've actually been buying really lately so i'll continue doing that look at qualcomm this company remember for those who have been with me for a while do you remember when it was just down about 500 pounds or even more than that and right now we are about 30 percent so sometimes your patience is important and i was buying this company when it was really down or almost out um this one here has gone down quite a lot just recently because the earnings were not really great it didn't look good but year on year was actually okay but the quarter was terrible so for that reason it actually went down quite a bit and i think they lowered their guidelines as well so again for one year is not going to kill me so i will be buying more of this company i want to get to 100 shares and see what happens inshallah it might become another real no real tinto was the issue was the ben jerry situation it was yeah so uk companies are not really great but rio tinto is actually good so it has come down now because iron ore prices have don't come down quite a bit so i will be adding to inshallah and the reason is because this is very cyclical business and i knew that okay as long as they don't cut the dividends again i'm happy with it but it's a very cyclical business it goes up and down the dividends is great okay they actually have done they've done well over the, and over basically better than companies like uh, you know unilever and so on over the last five to ten years so their total returns is actually way better s p global very overvalued right in, well not overvalued as much i think it's fairly valued right now according to monistar so i'm gonna hold on to it for now if it comes down again i might start like adding a little bit ups the union pacific is exactly the same and ups i'm still buying um i might just wait for another drop see what happens and if it hits maybe another five percent or so down i might actually start buying again a bit more and visa i love the company but i'm right now starting positioning um, mastercard so i'm going to continue buying more of mastercard for now and then see what happens so that's the overview of the entire portfolio let me just show you the income from each one of these holdings and as you can see you compose the video this column is what you need to focus on so as you can see i'll just scroll down and you can pause the video but the companies that pay me a lot are no these ones here so companies like for example um public storage for example 187 dollars per pounds per um per year that's what i will be getting from this company and that's taken into consideration the 15 percent that i need to pay for the u.s tax and so on so yeah that is the portfolio right now as we speak and again these are the uk companies these are the u.s rich companies and and that's the etf that i have in the portfolio what i'm going to show you now is the rental income so my rental income for this month is still 484 pounds remember i get 550 pounds a month 66 of that goes to management fee as well as the vat so the company that manages this um, property takes the of course 10 percent cut repairs and maintenance alhamdulillah haven't had anything for the last few months so that's 484 pounds that's a one bed apartment in leicester in the united kingdom um, so that pays me that this much every single month that's the dividend that we received together 500 and um, 533 pounds which is good i mean of course i've had months where almost 700 800 pounds um, but of course it fluctuates and talking about that let me show you what i'm talking about and this is what i'm talking about here okay again this is u.s version again there's a bit of a di it's a difference between there's a little bit of difference between um what i will be receiving and what you see here because of the taxes as well as this software does not take into consideration a lot of the uk stocks the dividends is that it doesn't have accurate information of those dividends but apparently i'm expected 455 pounds from the, from the from this month so we'll see what happens inshallah i will let you know inshallah by the end of the month how much i've received even if i receive say 350 pounds i think that will probably be one of the biggest dividends that i've received let me just show you um if i receive 350 okay 350 i've had it before september um is so march of last year was 240 pounds let's see if we can be that if we can be that would be really nice look 20 2021 um, um, was 48 pounds then 120 pounds 241 pounds right now 
three thirty four pounds already so let's see what happens inshallah with that so that's what i'm expecting from this month and i'll show you quickly the companies that are paying for this month and these are so um public storage ups jnj has already paid her she's paying astrazeneca astrazeneca is a slightly different so you, you might be a little bit more a little bit less what ha whatever happens unp or United, uh, union pacific qualcomm home depot um and so on so these are the companies that will be paying me hopefully in this month and i'll let you know inshallah as always now final thing i want to show you guys today is my allocation okay so i have now got 2400 26 pounds before the before this fifth basically by the 5th of april so this time it literally exactly a month from today i need to spend that much so i will be putting a month basically every single week this week as much as i can i'm going to divide that by four and add that much every single week between now and then inshallah that's my goal like i've always said to you guys i want to make sure that the taxi man is not basically i'm not giving them anything i'm gonna try my best and I will do that, inshallah. I'm not borrowing any money. I'm not doing anything. I've got a bit of, a, of course, um, emergency fund. And I'm tapping into that if I need to. I've got another project that's due at the end of the month. So it's a bit of a tricky one. But inshallah, I will do everything I can to make sure I max this account. And what happens after that? So this is the thing I wanted to share with you guys. Now, after I get basically, but at the end of this um, year, okay, by the time we get the six. I will not be adding any more money to this portfolio. I'm going to leave it alone and let it grow. I'm going to open another brokerage account and I need your help. So I will be doing videos soon, soon inshallah, comparing certain uh, brokerage. But can you, if you live in the United Kingdom and you have an ISA account, can you let me know what broker, uh, what brokerage account you have? So I can do a little bit more research inshallah and for ISA accounts only. I don't need anything else. I just need for an ISA account. So if you can tell me that would be really helpful. Of course, I know the main ones and we've talked about this before and so on. But I want to see what you guys use and what you think. And I want something that basically very close to the basically trading 212 because I don't want to pay a lot of taxes. Okay, I don't want to pay a lot of fees and commission fees and all of that stuff, right? So let me know what you use, inshallah, and I will... Um, Put a video together to kind of do a quick summary of what is out there and some advantages and so on so on so inshallah so i am in the hunt to find another i do have another account of course with interactive brokers again that's something i'm going to review because they are slightly different when it comes to their protection side of things and i'll let you know inshallah in that video but yeah that's the video that i wanted to share with you guys today final thing before we leave for entire portfolio for the month of january this is the performance of the portfolio this is the s p 500 february was better so over five percent again similar to the s p 500 now i'm going to continue doing this because i want to see how we perform against the s p 500 but i'm not really too worried about that okay uh, for me it's not just a beating about the beat in the market but it's of course accumulating as much wealth and you know as much as i can inshallah that moving forward that's my plan and as you can see the portfolio has done about over nine percent almost close to ten percent and the s p 500 about seven seventy percent that should that might change very quickly because the s p things are right now the way things are going i would not be surprised if we are down 10 15 percent in the next few months because right now what i'm seeing with crypto and those kind of things we are hitting that bubble situation where we had 2021 and we know what happened exactly in 2022 anyway i'm not just speculating it can happen if it happens i'm going to look for quality companies like i've always said to you guys inshallah and buy them at cheap prices inshallah anyway i'm going to stop the video here have a wonderful day assalamualaikum